Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play and the final part of Let's Play Swords and Sandals Pirates. The game has bugged out, and I really can't do much about it, which is rather annoying. So pretty much we just we, all we can do is just move about. Pretty much just trying to get as much gold as we can while we're here. Because we're going to need to try and keep improving the ship for our eventual battle with the sea monsters. Okay. So there's a shipyard here. And we can increase our crew quarters, but there's no point in doing that. Hull armor might not be a bad option, though. Might be quite a nice option, thinking about it. Do I, do I wish to fight you? Sod, bring it on. Bring it on! It's Nepturax. Okay. Alright, you got 400 health. You now have 265 health. And you missed. Let's move in. Might be able to kill one of you, actually. Oh, okay. That is not much damage. Let's advance again. Yeah, that is not much damage. Fire. Missed. You missed as well, though. Fire. Missed. Oh, for God's sakes. Damn my crew. Damn you, crew. I have been defeated by the Ocean Guard. We could have won that one if I just stopped missing. <sighs> okay. Three days until the Pirate Council. Well, I'm, that's literally all I'm going to be doing is trying to kill one of those sods now. Okay, let's get some troops. Lovely. That should be better. Go to our shipyard. We can't increase the hull's armor. And we have very little in the form of any sort of stuff. So we'll have a grand banquet. I'll buy some drinks as well. I'll need to go to the market and get some food. Food's probably the most important thing to have right now. At least at this stage of the game. Alright, do you have a market? You just have a fort. Okay. I'll hire who I can then. Right. Just trying to find some stuff now, really. Any form of... Uh, yep. Uh, any form of, like, possible... What could be food? Something like that. Just trying to absolutely destroy one of the... One of those sods. That's mm. pretty much all we're doing. No survivors in the wreck. Oh, well. Ah! A morale booster! Hopefully. Yeah! Oh, no. No, doggy! Why? Why do you forsake me so? Sod. Night and that's the night falls on that one! Goes quiet okay. Boost morale with, uh, with a sea shanty. Why not? We are now steadfast again. Two days until the pirate council. Okay. There's one. But I would like to go... to a place where I can get stuff. Tempestus might be able to do it. Might be able to. I don't know. Not sure about Tempestus. What you got? You got a market! Nice. Food for me. And the crew, obviously, but mostly for me. Set sail. set sail again. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, ooh, lots of stuff there. I'll take all these if you don't mind. A one and a two. That's some research notes. Luxuries. Ooh, more stuff. Lots more stuff. Five amber. More luxuries. Very nice. And no survivors. Oh, well. There's a market here, though. So I can sell my luxuries. Because I don't need them anymore. Probably sell my trade goods and my materials because I don't need them either. What I do need is food, though. Okay, it's time to let's leave. Safe. Oh, great! One of the crew is dead from eating poisonous fish. Good to know. Right, Ironheart Cove it is. We must encamp. Night. For the final day. Goes quiet and still. One last D. 
today. A sea shanty is what we all need. Tomorrow is the Pirate Council. Okay. And I can't build the shipyard. Okay. Because I got rid of all my items. I need to find a place that has a shipyard. Or I could just go for one. Let's go for one. Screw it! I don't care at this point. Come on, quickly. There you go. Fight time! Please don't be the dragon. Okay, it's you again. Okay. Let's first call some lightning on you! And miss. Oh, well there goes the most of my crew. Lovely. Cheers for that. And there goes the rest of them! Well! Those things are not to be messed with. At all. You have perished. Wow! Okay, those things are not to be messed with. Arseholes. Ah, <sighs> oh well. Today is the day of the Pirate Council. It's time to sail to Kragenbach. The end of the game! Under Banner of Truce, the ten great sea captains set sail. Landing in the mysterious island of Kragenbach, they climb. Just move the mouse out of the way just there. Move the cursor out of the way. In the Tower of Sorcery, the Pirate Council begins. Look at all those swords. So many swords and an axe, obviously. The Great Sorcerer Bargel will oversee proceedings. Indeed he will. Right, let's see who won this. Greetings, Sea Pirate Captains, Council. both noble and villainous. I declare the ocean, the four oceans war over after 51 days. Time to hand out reward, uh, awards. Watch the ceremony. First award for the faction with the highest gold fortune. The tribes of Itania. Tribes of Itania, okay. Captain with the highest power score. Ravlax, Ravlax. okay. This isn't going well for me. Highest ranking captain. Ravla- This is not going well for me at all. Most Golden Sandals! Admiral Robbins. What? Most victories in battle. The Legion Thank of you. At least Legion of H got something. Explored most of the ocean. He chaos. he chaos! There you go! That's better. That puts us into second place. Faction in control of the most islands. Here the we go. Legion yes! Into first place we go. And now penalties must be handed out to captains who perform poorly during the campaign. Most captain... Oh, I'm probably going to lose this. The oh, no! No! Captain who fled the most battles. Gravlax. Yes! Gravlax lost one. Brilliant. Who destroyed the most native villages. We didn't destroy many at all. Marathon yes! Wolfgang. It was Wolfgang. Okay. And the winner, and the winner is... Marathon. Barely! He chaos. Oh, I thought... Honestly, I actually thought I was going to lose that one. Uh, I did so much about controlling islands, I should have been getting more gold and everything else. We got pretty fortunate with ours, and how we played, pretty much. But yeah, we have won the Four Oceans War. We controlled every island, I don't care what the game says, it was every island. There should have been no one left for us. But anyway, with that, we are done. <laughs> he chaos his epilogue. For those who questioned he chaos his sanity before the Four Oceans War, there could no longer be any doubt. Upon returning to his capital of Edengarth, he descended further and further into madness. Violent nightmares, fever dreams, and visions haunted the man, and for days he would only speak in rhyme, much to the chagrin of his top advisors. He neglected to leave any legionnaires behind to maintain his island conquests, and they were soon overthrown. The legion's presence at sea was soon as paltry as it was before the war. However, with his now vast treasure hoard of gold and jewels, which we kind of lost most of it, he was able to expand his citadel of turbulence into something vast and monstrous, a sprawling monument to himself in the shape of a giant H. The Chaos continued to recruit the disillusioned into the Legion with promises of gold, land and riches. The reckless spending continued and uh, as he set up a a prohibitively expensive arena on the island of Doomtrek. Just a few short years into his stint as an arena overlord, he lost control of the arena to the Emperor Antares, who enslaved the madman and forced him to fight as an arena champion. Mm, 
doesn't that remind you of the first two games? Eventually freed by his supporters, Hikaos would take out his rage on, not on Antares, but his old childhood rivals Wolfgang, King Lionel, and Sir Belgrave. Hikaos and his legions would cause havoc for Brandor in Crusades, and for many a year after. Hikaos' story is continued in Swords of Sound's Crusader. So there you go! This game is pretty much essentially a prequel to the entire series. Bar Spartacus, obviously. I think Spartacus was well before. But technically this could be a prequel to Sword and Sandals 1. Very interesting. But with that, we are done. And we have completed Swords and Sandals Pirates. This game is a lot of fun. I'm not sure about that bug, though, that was going on. Um, hopefully that does get patched out at some point on that one. Um, I do know now that Whiskey Barrel Studios are actively patching their old games. So... What I mentioned during Swords of Sand Spartacus, hopefully, they may have patched that by the time this video comes out. Fingers crossed they have. Um, but yeah, they're now sort of, sort of starting to uh, actively patch, including nerfing the Yeti project from Swords of Sandals 3, finally. <sighs> Too long we have had to deal with that damn Yeti. And now, he's a bit easier to deal with. Still bloody difficult, but easier to deal with. But with that, folks... That's the end for now. This long six year run of Swords and Sandals Let's Plays. It started with Swords and Sandals 1, my first Let's Play after I um, came back from having surgery. Um, I had a tonsillectomy for people who don't know, uh, which the recovery was botched. Um, so, sort of my return to that, to uh, making these videos, was the first Swords and Sandals Let's Play. That was then followed by two, and then three, four, five, Crusader, Spartacus, Pirates, and unless Swords and Sandals 6 has been released by the time this comes out, by the time this video comes out, that's the end of the run for the Swords and Sandals franchise on this channel. Obviously, if Swords and Sandals 6 has come out, uh, when this video goes up, then yes, of course, I'll definitely be playing that. But that's all the main series games, all the side quest games, at least when I'm recording this on May the 12th, 2021. That's all of them done, bar the remakes, which I've already mentioned I will not be doing for Let's Plays because they're remakes. And what was the other one? Swords and Sandals Mini Fighters, which is essentially a, a reskin of Swords and Sandals 2. Which I've already done, but yeah, it's been it's been a it's been a great run of Swords and Sandals um, let's plays. I think you know um, it's gotten a lot of eyes onto my channel, uh, so I would like to say thank you very much to everyone who uh, has watched the Swords and Sandals let's plays over uh, the many years that I've been doing them at this point. And I hope you stick around for the rest of my content, even though I know most don't. The views say that. Which is fine, if you only watch my content for the Swords and Sandals content, that is your prerogative and that is fine. Um, if you do stick around for my other content as well, for my other playthroughs, then thank you very much. But anyway, folks, with that out of the way, Swords and Sandals Pirates is done, I'm Mastrath, and I'll see you for my next Let's Play in the future, and my next Swords and Sandals Let's Play, Swords and Sandals 6. When it gets released because it's May 2021 here, and it hasn't been released. It's still in production right now, and has been for a few months. But, fingers crossed, it'll get released, and I'll be able to Let's Play it. But until then, folks, I'll see you for my next Let's Play in the future. I've been Mastraff, and I'll see you then.